guys welcome back to the youtube channel programming knowledge in today's microsoft excel tutorials video we would be seeing that how can we create the drop down lists in microsoft excel apart from that we are also going to see that how these drop down lists are going to be dependent on one another okay so what is basically the drop down list we all know that there is a list available which has different options and based upon our choice we can select any one of those options and there are even some lists in which we can select multiple options so today we are going to see that how can we create drop down lists which enable us to select a single item or a single choice is available to us then we are going to see that how can we create dependent drop down lists now the concept of drop down lists that are dependent on one another is pretty simple it is exactly like when you go to some website or you are going to fill some form where you are asked to enter some data like if they ask that in which city you live so first of all you got to select from a list is in which country you live and on the basis of that country that particular city is selected okay so i have an example for you for better understanding here you can see that in your sheet we have two countries india and usa in india there is a list of these cities of india these are these five cities and similarly for usa these are these some cities that are available now what if i go to some website and i want to enter my country and on the basis of that country i want to select my city so i have created a drop down list over here you can see this a small arrow sign this denotes that actually a drop down list is created over here so we got to use it so i just click on it and you can see there are two options of countries available india and usa so i'm going to select india then uh, in the city block there is if i just click on this drop down list these are all the cities that i have in my database that is this data for india so i want to select my city so i have selected this mumbai so this is a drop, uh, dependent drop down list the city drop down list is actually completely dependent on the drop down list of country for the data how you can understand it if we just change the country name from india to usa then you can see that the city name has also changed then now instead of the cities of um, india we have the cities of usa which was present in our database like washington dc new york san francisco texas etc so i just select new york and yes that's valid so this is actually the functionality of a dependent drop down list and it comes in handy when you got to select the data based upon some criteria so basically city is the list which we are mainly concerned with and the criteria is this country list which uh, is actually used to filter the records from the city so this is what we are going to understand today and we are going to create some kind of dependent drop down lists so let's move to our practice sheet here we have some data if we look closely at it we have names of uh, fruits that is apple mango bananas similarly we have flowers berries and vegetables now all these three directly contain some data while as vegetables there is further bifurcation into leafy and roots if we go for leafy then there are three options available which is the final data spinach coriander and mint similarly as the roots are concerned we have three final data turnip radish and carrot so basically three lists are going to be created one is for this uh, bifurcation this uh, external bifurcation like fruits flowers berries vegetables etc then there would be another list which would help us to select uh, this leafy or roots and on the basis of that from the second list we would be able to select spinach coriander and mint so total of three drop down lists have to be created Uh, let us understand its creation so first of all let us um, give us give it some kind of uh, like names like cat1 then i'm going to type cat2 and then i'm going to type in final all right so in cat1 what we are going to have is this fruits flowers berries and vegetables in cat2 uh, we have apple mango and bananas that means the contents of these cat1 
uh, in the case of vegetables it's going to be leafier roots so in the case of vegetables we would be having that in final only for vegetables we have this and this okay so before the creation of the lists one important thing that you got to keep in mind is all your data must be in the form of a named range now we have already covered the topic of named range in detail in our previous videos but just for the revision purposes i'm going to show it again that how can you do with it how can you go with it you can just select them uh, the whole data like this these three columns have equal uh, kind of spaces so i'm going to select them then go to this uh, formulas tab here you have create from selection and just select this top row and click on ok now if you just go to this box we have fruits flowers and berries these three have been selected similarly for the vegetables there is another option you got to select them go to this cell name tab and type in vegetables press enter yes now if you just see it berries flowers fruits vegetables india and usa are from the previous one similarly we could create for leafy and roots as well so just type in as leafy enter for the roots select the data type in roots enter now okay all of them are created you got to first cross check it perfect now what we are going to do is first come to cat1. Now we are going to create a list first of all. Then how can we create it? Simple, uh, go to this data tab. Here is this option of uh, data validation. You got to click on it. Okay. Now uh, in the first tab that is settings, you got to select allow list. So this is a list would be created and it asks for a source. So in our cat one, all these headings are going to be our source. So just select these four headings simply and click on OK. Now you see this list is created. If you just click on it, these four headings are available. If you select just any one of them, then no change happens over here. The reason being that uh, actually no list exists now for cat two. So let's create a list for cat two. Just select this cell go to data validation and again select a list that's the simple procedure then go to source now instead of selecting the source data we have to select the criteria um, which is present in cat1 because whatever the criteria would be selected in cat1 the result of cat2 would be uh, changed according to that so for that we have to use a formula now what is this formula all you got to do is press an equal sign because we know that all formulas in excel start with an equal sign then type in a function known as indirect okay then open the parenthesis and just select this cell m10 this is going to be a criteria that's why we have selected this cell and then you can close the parenthesis this indirect function tells microsoft excel that actually whatever that is given over here is the name of the named range from which you got to take the data that is why we have created the named range um, previously and its name was exactly like the name of the headings so if you just click on ok then you can see that this list is created and since vegetables was selected we have two options leafy and roots similarly if you just select some other things like fruits then there would be options like apple mango and bananas so uh, we can just go with it vegetables and uh, here would be leafy and roots available similarly for the final also we got to create a list now uh, the criteria would be this cell that is n10 so go to data validation and here you got to select allow list the source is going to be again the indirect function open the parenthesis this is going to be a criteria close the parenthesis and press ok so yep if you just select on leafy spinach coriander mint if you select on roots then turnip radish and carrot so that is how you can create dependent drop down lists and as you can see it is pretty simple to create and it can be used in almost every place there wherever there is some kind of category bifurcation and there is some criteria 
so that is all about dependent drop down lists and i hope you all have enjoyed this video thanks for watching